Welcome back to some more Iron Man! If you're anything like me, you find Kudra kinda boring! But you know what's not boring? Dozens of RNG drops! I've spent the last week playing Kudra non-stop to actually get some insane drops and make one of, if not the most powerful armor set in Skyblock! Seriously, we make some actual progress today, and if you want to know how to get one of the best sets in the game, watch the whole way through. You guys have absolutely been killing it with the support lately, so once again, I know it's a pain to hear, but leave a like for more Iron Man content. Let's aim for 1200 likes in the first day of this video being uploaded, and please, please just double check you're subscribed. All my videos are free to watch. If you just help me reach 130k subs, it would mean the absolute world to me. Anyways, we got a real action pack today ahead of us, so let's get to it. As you guys know, the Crimson Isle has a few armor sets exclusive to Kudra that have random but powerful attributes. These attributes grant additional stats and abilities to the set. Currently, I have a pretty decent Aurora set, but now it's time to take our focus on Terror and Crimson. Today, I'm specifically looking for a Terror chestplate with the dominance attribute on it, just like my legs and boots here, as well as any form of magic fine crimson. I don't actually really have any yet. All of this crimson set is junk right now, except these boots. These are the only boots I have that are really good, dominance, vitality, but magic fine crimson is generally considered the best armor in the game, or the most useful armor in the game as of right now. So if we could get that with either some veteran or I would take vitality as well attributes on our crimson armor, that would be absolutely legendary to pull. So keep an eye out today for any of those kind of attributes. I also hopefully can get a few extra Kudra cores to upgrade my Kudra talisman for a brand new enrichment. And of course that fatal tempo enchantment for our third terminator would be absolutely legendary. But well, fatal tempo is basically as rare as Necron handle. So don't expect that today. Anyways, I'll be playing Kudra with a friend, Exotic Creep, you've probably seen a few dungeon videos with him in it at this point, so I'll be doing random tiers of Kudra anywhere from 3 to 5, depending on what we need at the time. I won't bore you with the boss fight, so let's just get into the loot I got this week. Oh! <laughs> I went down to two hearts. Uh, oh, right, so. Magic Fine Mana Region Molten Cloak. Ooh. Yeah. No, I almost killed the blazes. Dom Magic Fine Crimson Helmet! Oh, that's sick! Wait, that's actually sick! I'm chill with that. I don't know, something like that. Magic Fine Vent Terror Helm, are you serious? <laughs> ah! So while I did say Magic Find Veteran was the best thing we could possibly roll on armor, that's only the case if it's Crimson Armor, meaning we just got a god roll piece on the wrong armor set, making it basically useless. Eh, that's fine, I guess. So is the Kudra stun I know just- oh, there goes my spirit mask. <laughs> I wonder if the Kudra stun- let me open my chest before I say this. <gasps> Dominant Terror just play- yeah! Nice. Finally, man. Oh, Dominance Mana Regen. That's not even bad. All right. It's... Well... Oh, you're joking. I god rolled Crimson Helm. Oh, uh, my god. Well, no. I mean, one day it'll be better, so I can't be mad. One day it'll be better than Warden Helmet, but... <laughs> Maybe right. in 2030? Well, technically, Magic Find Veteran is considered the normal god roll. I also consider Magic Find Vitality on Crimson god roll because, well, combat XP only really helps in Slayers, and if you're doing something that doesn't involve Slayer, well, Veteran doesn't really help you with anything. So, for the sake of this, I'm considering both Magic Find Vital and Magic Find Veteran as god rolls. So, uh, if that makes sense, it's it's just a funny Iron Man thing, you know? It's just an Iron Man thing. Are you still getting knocked if you're in a Wither Shield or a Wither Cloak? Yeah. Another sub two. Bro. Magic find mana pool cloak? Oh my gosh, that's good. <laughs> Let's Dude. go. Oh. Oh, oh okay, so it's so it's 16 seconds. Bro. Oh, Kudra Core! Yeah! That's the epic one. Yeah? Let's go. Alright. All right, oh my god. No! <laughs> I got the speed shard. Let's go. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Do I even, I, I'm gonna buy it because it's funny. Why is this guy in Garfield armor? What? Or oh, he had like two force hair with Garfield skin. Oh. <laughs> this guy's max HP is three thousand. Oh no. Why? Oh, that's probably the hot guy. <laughs> that sounded funny. <laughs> no. Oh my god, dude, it's up. Why did this guy have two-fourths terror 
and nothing else for a second, dude. I know he died, but why was that his set, though? Maybe he clicked the wrong wardrobe slot. Dude, I, all I see is this Garfield. <laughs> why is he wearing Garfield armor? <laughs> Garfield armor. <laughs> That's what it was, though. Oh, oh Wheel God. of Fate! Dude, where's my Wheel of Fate, mate? I know, right? Oh, Kuzha Core! Yes, I have the legendary one now! <laughs> well, epic recoms to legendary. Let's go! Real quick, I want to upgrade this on the spot, actually, because it does end up increasing our stuff here. It ends up making the uh, stuff a little bit more common, the attribute buff. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and slap this just like that, and that'll be a fiery Kudra Core, 2% chance to spawn attributes one level higher. There we go. That's going to be insane. Let's also go ahead and slap an enrichment on this sucker. Um, I don't really know what my enrichments are set to right now. I'll just, I'll just choose magic find because uh, we'll do that. Anvil. You can do those in anvils. And there we go. Look at that. That is going to be sick, dude. And hey, only 12 more to max it out. So uh, I guess that's going to be, it's going to be a long process, but eventually we'll get it. All right. Oh, I don't know One, if my two. cloak's going to come back for this. Oh, it will. That's fine. It only does 3,600 damage. Mine does 44. <laughs> Why does it do, like, 600 more damage to you? I don't know. Oh, no! What is this chest? What is this chest? It's actually cracked. If only that was crimson. Actually, I wouldn't care if that's crimson, because that's arachnores, but all right. Toad armor. <laughs> Minerora. Why fly a I got a Kuja core! <laughs> I got a Kuja core in Fermento. Bruh. Dude. <laughs> Cycles. Yeah, although clock speed helps with latency, so that's nice. Oh, yeah! Over. Wait, that's actually sick. My, I already have that. Yo. I already, I already have that. Oh, 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 but I'm happy. I got the thing I needed. So. You got the pants. You got the pants. <laughs> all you right, pants, dude. So before I get into all the upgrades I want to make today, I first have a Wheel of Fate, and I've decided to use my Wheel of Fates on Magma Lord armor. Now I have two pieces that don't have good attributes, but I find the MPMR helmet kind of funny. So we're going to reroll this one first. And I believe I just combined this in an anvil, yes. So we're looking for uh, Magic Find, Blazing Fortune, or Fishing XP. Any of those three would be absolutely amazing. And, ooh, Fishing XP. I will gladly take that, actually. That is much better than what I had before. Uh, not amazing, but honestly, I'll take it. Those keys actually ended up taking quite a lot of our money, but lucky for us, Jerry just showed up as our mayor, and I did some of a mining fiesta. I was actually fairly busy today. Unfortunately, I was out for most of the day, so I only got to mine for like 45 minutes to an hour, but we're back up to over 154 mil. I kind of want to try and stay above 150 mil, because I do want to play M7 soon, and well, Claymore costs 150 mil, so uh, yeah, but... I think it's time now that we've done a lot of these runs to go ahead and do some major upgrades to our nether gear. So I'll grab some other stuff together and let's get ready to do a mass starring spree. First up on my to-do list is actually to get a brand new NPC contact to our Abbey phone, get that sweet, what is it, 0.5 magical power or something. So we need to find the Abbey phone super contact trio. There we go. We're going to buy two of these actually because we can upgrade our Abbey phone like this. So we can uh, do that and float a little bit. There we go. And now our phone holds a grand total of, once I go warp bile here, or I guess Kudra to update it. It now holds 36 contacts, six more than we currently have, but... What I'm going to do is actually upgrade this to a Blazing Res 4 shard, and which is a little bit interesting of an upgrade. Wait, there's a Lord Jobbis somewhere. Hold on. Warp Isle. Okay, we're doing this. We're doing this live here. We're doing this right now. Let's grab our G-Drag, and this is what I do every time I find a Lord Jobbis. There he is. He only has 20 mil health. I really have to try and take him out, and okay. Looks like we got loot, but we didn't get any actual uh, decent drops from that. Anyways, what I was going to do let's go warp kudra and give this guy a blazing res 4 shard that's actually what he wants to uh be a contact so we'll give him this there you go there's your blazing res 4 shard and we have the kudra gatekeeper as our ebby phone contact 10 skyblock xp very awesome i don't know what other npcs i'm missing to uh do this but we'll get the rest of them as we need we have five more slots now so plenty of room to get more npcs now, let me go ahead and figure out what armor I want to upgrade today. Next up on our list, let's go ahead and combine all of these pieces together and make a very, very awesome set. So first up, I want to actually try and make these pants right here, Vital 5, which is going to take a little bit of work, but I should just be able to do it here if I grab these as well. Uh, I got to make sure I don't mess this up because these are all very expensive pieces. So we'll do this to make uh, Magic Vine 2 Vital 3. That's perfect. 
We'll make a Vital 3 shard out of these and put these together for Vital 4. We'll combine these with this for Magic Find 2 Vital 5. And we can combine both of these Magic Find 2 Vital 5 pieces to make Vital 6 Magic Find 3. And there's our first completed piece right now. Let's go ahead and slap that back in our wardrobe. That thing is looking rather awesome. Next up on our list, we have, I don't think I can do anything with the chest plate, so uh, we won't. Oh, no, 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 there's something I needed to do with the legs first. That's totally right. I have another pair of Magic Find 3 legs. We can go ahead and make those Magic Find 4 Vital 6. Dude, that is absolutely ridiculous. This is probably the strongest piece I have right now, which is actually kind of insane. But next up, we are going to increase the vitality of this helmet. So to do that, we are going to unfortunately lose one Magic Find 1, but I can't really do anything with that anyways, so it doesn't really matter. So let's make that Magic Find 3 and then slap these two together to make Magic Find 5 a vital for a direct upgrade so there we go i think that's all i can do for this piece as well and unfortunately i believe this chest plate is stuck like this until i get a better roll now let's move on to the terror pieces here let's go ahead and make this dominance three so we can upgrade our terror chest plate to dominance four uh luckily dom is really the only thing that matters on terror you can also use lifeline lifeline is technically slightly better but i don't have lifeline terror i have dom terror so we're gonna have to live with that and the last thing i'm going to do is upgrade this to i believe dom five so we'll have to combine these two for dom three and then the these two for Dom 4. This is actually Dom Lifeline, which is kind of sad, but it's on Aurora, so it's not exactly anything we can do. I can't possibly transfer this over to that to make terror, so we're just going to go ahead and do this and uh, make ourselves some Dom 5 Vital 3 Terror Boots. There we go. So these are our armor sets now that I have. I, I want to put them together, actually. Let me uh, figure out how I can do that. Uh, and never mind. We'll just go ahead and... Uh, so we have this Terror set, and then we have this Crimson set. I want to go ahead and star these both as much as I can, but... If we're going to move on and officially start doing tier 5 Uja reliably, well, obviously, zero star terror is not going to cut it. So, we're going to have to upgrade this, and I think I want to shoot for burning 7 stars on everything right now. I think that's what I want to do now in- unfortunately, that means I'm not going to be upgrading the crimson very much today, but I will be able to get essence faster by doing this, which means we'll be able to max our crimson even further than we were once going to. Turns out I don't have nearly enough essence for what I want to star, so we're actually going to go for round two of doing Kudros. We're going to hop into some tier threes. I think I have 40 keys that I'm going to try and burn through tonight and see how much essence we can get, any rare drops, and uh, most importantly, Kudra teeth for something I'll show you a little bit later in the video. No! Oh, man! That's sad. That's sad. That would have been the full set done if that was Crimson. That's sad. Complete garbage. Speed Vet and Molten Necklace? Ooh. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Was Blue oh my god. Oh my god, the crates. The crates. The crates. The crates. What the fudge? 39? Oh. Uh. He went spec, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, not go, bad. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Holy man, this is like a 135, I think. Okay, not a terrible stun. That's the wrong armor piece. That's the wrong armor piece. I'm literally wearing no armor. Okay. <laughs> okay, that might be like 138, 7. It's, what is it's, that? Sub one, it's sub 140. Let's go. Let's not open the free chest. Ooh, magic right now. 136. Oh my god. Nice. That's actually nuts. Oh, what a last run, man. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's funny. So after the Kudros, we have plenty of essence to do everything I want. So let's go ahead and get ready to star our armor. So to do that, let's go ahead and make our way over to the starring person, which is located way over here in the Crimson Isle. And I'm going to need all of my heavy pearls and all of my Kudra teeth actually as well. Hopefully this doesn't end up costing too much, but only time will tell. These are our wonderful Dom 5 and Dom 4 pieces. Let's go ahead and first start off by finishing this upgrade and making these guys a Dom 7, so, or sorry, uh, 7 star Burning Terror. Now let's go ahead and, well, we have a lot of upgrades to do on these pieces. I gotta click this button a whole bunch because every 10 stars you're able to prestige to the next tier. 
And well, burning is actually the third prestige, so we really just gotta sit here and watch all of my Crimson Essence melt away as I go through. But this will make doing Tier 5 Kudra hopefully a lot better, and hopefully I'll be a lot more useful in Tier 5 Kudra, and our damage is going to be much, much better. So, let's go ahead and prestige this over to Hot Tier And you, Prestige to Burning, yes please. Now, I'm actually a little bit worried, because I don't know how much essence I have. I know I am very, very quickly running out, and I'm actually about to run out, and I don't know if I'll be able to 7-star this piece without running out of essence, but I really hope I do, because uh, I think I should be able to. I think I had just enough. So there we go. That is 7 starred as well. Look at how much stance these have here. This is the uh, piece I have maxed out most here. 35 strength and 137 crit damage, man. That is the highest crit damage piece I believe I own. Or actually, highest damage stat piece I believe I own, which is absolutely sick. But we need Ancient for this one, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a Precursor gear because, well, Precursor gear is going to be super duper important for this, so we'll do this. And I need to open the uh, Reforge Anvil, which I don't have access to through the commands. One day they'll let us access to this through commands, but let's go ahead and do that. There we go. I don't think I have a Recom for these pieces yet. I'll have to go into some dungeons and get some Recoms, unless I would happen to have one from Collections for some reason. Uh, doesn't appear like we do, but what we do have is this right here. And actually, this will give us 10,000 Crimson Essence. So let's go ahead and claim all of these. So uh, there we go. We get a little bit of our Kudra Heat back and stuff. Uh, I don't really need this. I already have the epic pet, so uh, that's fine. But yeah, I actually decided to store these pieces a little bit more here. You'll see that they are currently now, like I said I was going to, I was going to get them all to burning at 10 stars here. But you'll notice the chest plate only has 9 stars. And no, I didn't run out of essence. I ran out of heavy pearls, which is the worst thing to run out for because it means my 40 runs of panic getting essence to try and get this video out on time was all for a waste because I had to wait an extra day anyways to get five more heavy pearls for our terror armor. Because like, come on, you know I can't do a Kudra video without doing something absolutely obnoxious to make this video worth watching. So we are going to get this to Fiery Prestige today. As of right now, it's about four more hours until my heavy pearls reset. Uh, and look, the rest actually was a mining fiesta. You might notice I have a decent amount of coins now, which means we'll actually be able to get Fiery Terror and stay above 200 million coins. So when we do decide to take on Infernal Kudra, we will definitely have the purse for it. You can see I'm actually getting quite desperate to the point where I've put down my cilia minions. By the way, these things are awful. Don't use these unless it's a literal rast resort. I am getting kind of busy and I don't really have the time to mine the, all of the mycelium for different keys and stuff, so I slapped these guys down. I'll probably make them tier 5 eventually, but for now they're generating around two infernal keys worth of mycelium a day, which is pretty decent, you know? I mean, I probably will be using these infernal keys rather sparingly, so there is that, but uh, it'll probably be a little bit before I'm ready to do infernal kudra as well. I kind of want to stockpile a bunch of keys so we can get some good RNGs from the final tier and, well, somehow make more progress than what we already have right now. We do have that wonderful crimson set I want to go ahead and max out next, and that's really what I'm eyeballing because that will be the best armor set we possibly can get. So I am looking forward to that, but uh, unfortunately, well, it's going to end up being a little bit longer than that. But I'm more or less just going to wait for these uh, heavy pearls in the matriarch to reset for the day, and then we're going to go ahead and get ready to prestige our terror to fiery. So I don't know, I guess I'll finish editing this video or something as much as I can, and I'll see you all when I'm ready to uh, do the matriarch and prestige this armor one more time. I waited all day for this. We can finally put the last star on our uh, terror chest plate here. Dude, I waited all day for my heavy pearls. So now we have three-fourths burning 10-star terror, and I decided last minute to go ahead and grind out 150 Kudra teeth and 30 mil coins to actually go ahead and prestige our terror to fiery. This is quite literally overkill, but come on, it's gonna look so clean, man. Let's go ahead and just do it. There's the first piece. There's the second piece. This is 30 million coins, dude. Oh my gosh, there's the third piece. Dude, we now have three fourths fiery terror armor. This is gonna be absolutely amazing for tier 5 Kudra, dude. We are finally ready. There's nothing else I can really do to prepare. I mean, I'll grab a recom for this piece, of course, and this piece, I guess, too. Uh, we'll probably do that in the next video or something, I'm not too sure, but this is the armor set we're going to use for it. I'd love to get Dom 5 on this. I might actually have Dom 5 now that I did those 41s and bought all those chests, so I'll double-check my island to do any more maxing, but uh, 
for now, honestly, I think this is going to be it for this episode of Hypixel Skyblock Iron Man. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. Subscribe again. My videos are free to watch. If you just hit the subscribe button, it would seriously, seriously make my day. You guys have actually been killing it with the subscribe support lately. So if you just do that, we'll reach 130,000 in no time. And of course, lastly, if you ever buy any ranks, gems, fire sales, or anything off the Hypixel store, Use my creator code at checkout for a 5% off discount on anything you buy. My code is TOAD, T-O-A-D, just like my name, and your support means the absolute world to me. But that's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed this amazing episode, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.